like you. Welcome to Socrates. We like you. What did you think of the game today? I'll take it. The results, all that matters is this time. Like we're in the Christmas holiday season. Results, all I care about. Two one, three points for us. I'll take it. Who was your man of the match? Uh, that's a hard one, man. Uh, games like this, we games like this. Like, who played well? The, the whole team played well, but you know there were some players who who stood out for you most. Who stood out for you most? I think you got to get to Lukaku. Lukaku. I think that goal opened the game, set the tone for everything else. He played well. He was aggressive. Took shots, made runs. Did what you asked for, a big striker. Okay. Now that we're coming to the Christmas period, we've got Leicester City away. We've got Leicester City. We have. Burnley, Southampton, Everton in the next four games. Where do you see United? Second place. Four out of four. I see us. I see us. I'd say if we get 12 points out of those games, good. I think we can win all four. Of them. And hope City drop a point. I think City. Will, <laughs> I think City will drop points. I believe so. I honestly believe City. They can't do this the whole season. I'm no, sorry. No, and like South American players. They do not like winter. The winter. No. They do not like the work okay. that they yes. have to put in. Yes. So I think City will drop points before the first, by the first of the year. All right. Keith, thank you very much. Thank you for speaking to Socrates. We like it. We'll see you in our next game. Thank you very much. Roy, welcome to Socrates. We like it. How do you think? What did you think of the game today? Well, three points, right? Uh, well, take that. I didn't really like the last 30 minutes. We defended way too deep. We should be playing a lot better than that. Lord, what did you think? Who was your best player for today for United? Best player for today, I'd say Smalling, I guess. Smalling. Yeah, defended strong for the most part. Yeah, good performance in the end, but still we should have should have killed it off a long time. So you think United invited more pressure to themselves? Absolutely, absolutely. I think after uh, after going two 0 up, you were just like, yeah, you know, sitting gonna, back. Yeah, we're gonna sit back, and when they scored the first goal, it was like, yeah, we're gonna sit basically right in front of our box. And right be done with it, right? It just, it's frustrating because you're so good going forward, right? You, your strength is not the defense, your strength is that you're going so forward. Good exactly. This, so you're one of the Manhattan fans who agree that United tend to sit back, even though they lead, they still try to sit back instead of finishing off. Exactly. And it's not like you're playing City, right? You're playing West Brom. They don't really have pace. No counter. disrespect to West Brom, but still, it is West Brom. They, they don't really have a pacey striker. Right? Exactly. You want him strong, but you don't want him to be strong in the box. You want him to be strong exactly. like 15 yards away from the box. Push him out. But no, we're going to sit back, we're going to invite the pressure, and then, you know, you're just waiting, 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 you know, holding your breath, and hope we hold on. With the three points we've got today, and you know, we've got Leicester City, Southampton, uh, and uh, Everton coming up, where do you see United? Still second, I hope. Well, Leicester City, we should win. Southampton, Everton, all winnable games. With Pogba back, definitely all winnable, winnable games. Um, it's, it's a good test for the squad, I guess, because it's like three games of quick succession. Right? Yes, this is for the Christmas period. period. Yeah. Uh, I believe all teams should drop points from here. Well, City to drop points? I should hope so. I should hope so. <laughs> we all want City to drop points. We all want City to drop <laughs> points. No, they have to drop it sometime, right? It, it, no, it, 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 it's... As much as I don't like to say it, but City are doing well. But they can't do... This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. They have to drop somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Some suspensions, injuries, somewhere, something. But United, as far as you know, they keep winning their games and staying close exactly. just in case they take the opportunity to pounce. That's all. Yeah, exactly. And this is, I mean, these are the kind of games you don't want to play a big team during this period, right? You want players yes. who don't have a squad to yes. match three games in three days. Yes. So it's good that we're pay, playing these kind of teams. Uh, but we should definitely get nine points out of these three games. Okay. Rowan, thank you for speaking to Socrates. We like it. We should see you next week when we play Leicester City away. Thank you very much. Marcel, welcome to Soccer. We like it. What did you think of the game today? Game of two halves, really. First half was amazing. Good ball control, good movement up the pitch. Two really good goals. One was off of the opposing player, but regardless, Lukaku with an amazing header. Told you guys, just hold on and be patient with Lukaku. We're treating Lukaku this year like we treated Pogba last year. And we need to quit being bitter fans and expecting greatness every single time out because in time, everything is going to come into place. And you saw that today. This is the second goal in two games, so can we please stop with the Lukaku nonsense, really? But outside of that, the second half, oh my God, it was so dreadful. Giving the ball away, not holding on to possession, giving away goals in set pieces. It makes no sense that we are still giving away goals in set pieces. We have 
half our squad is over six feet tall, but yet still we don't have the discipline in order to clear these chances or at least control them. So that really needs to happen, and we need to quit giving the ball away in space sometimes. Also, there were a couple of times we were on the break where there should have been a pass made when a shot was being made, and a shot was being made when a pass should have been made. So we really need to get better discipline-wise and play the game in the first half and the second half the exact same way. Right. Be consistently good all the way out. Because you saw, you saw United started really fast. Well, you know, we all thought, like, this is going to be four or five goals. Exactly. But second half, as you just said, they came out, sat back, invited West Brom, pressure on, onto themselves, yep. consider the set-piece goal, and start to struggle. Try, even, like you said, it's about making the right pass at the right time, shooting at the right time. But exactly. yeah, who was your, who was United's best player to you? Uh, best player to me? Um, you know something? I have to say that before he went off, Valencia was our best player. He was really solid going up and down the pitch. He was really, really good. As a real as captain. Transitions. Yes, yes, he was being a very good captain today. He was being very, very good on transition books. Mata had a fantastic game today. And Lukaku, doing what he does, he was really great. Yeah, the header was great and everything, but we have to also consider his work rate because he gets back when he needs to. He runs up the break when he needs to. Sometimes his passes are not great, and yes, he needs to work on his touch, but he actually also had a good game today. But for me, for me, it was still Valencia until he went off. Right. With United playing three games in the next nine days, we have Leicester away, Southampton, Everton, and Burnley. Where do you see United in those four games altogether? I think with Pogba coming back, we can get all 12 points if everybody stays healthy. Not to mention, you start rotating people out like Shaw, and then you put Mateo back in, hopefully give him a little bit of playing time. You basically make it so that this whole Rashford, Lingard, Lukaku, Martial rotation. Jolie is doing something right with these guys because when they are able to get out and attack, they're able to get out and attack, and it's amazing. But you got to do something about this midfield when Pog was not there. That's very true. And if we don't do something about that, we're going to keep having games like we had today in the second half. So, McTominay needs more time, but he is very, very good and he's very, very solid. He knows how to at least control the midfield and not give the ball away so much like other members of the team have been doing. But over these next three games, I think we can win all of these games, especially with Pogba coming back. Right. As long as we just stay maintained and stay disciplined and for God's sake, practice set pieces. Practice set pieces. <laughs> Defending them. the corners. Well, my God, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I understand you, Master. Do you think United should dip into the January transfer or see that this team is good enough to sustain the run till May? They can sustain their run, but the thing about a January transfer is it is really a crapshoot because you're going to be bringing somebody in from somebody else with a whole different system, and then they got to come in, learn the system, get out on the pitch, and then start basically running. Which the interrupts the, the... Which interrupts the thing. Oh, and by the way, Fausto Mensa may be coming back, and I would really like to have him, be, have him playing. Juan Zebe, who is amazing, needs to be playing. So we have enough people within this squad to make a very solid run. But it wouldn't surprise me if Joseph went out and got somebody else because I know that he really likes other players and he's been scouting. So if he brings somebody in, I'm going to have in Joseph we trust for me. And I think that what he's doing so far has been really great because we're a lot better than we were last year. Yes. People seem to forget how bad yes. we were last year. It has been this, this game last year, we would have either tied or lost. Yeah, it's so, been yeah. it's been said on the papers back in England that. United this time yeah, this time last year we were less points less goals and the points and goals we've, we've accumulated so far is more than what some of Ferguson's championship winning sides have achieved at this time of the year. Absolutely and look at the number of players we have having multiple goals Lingard, Martial, Rashford, Lukaku, even Ashley Young have multiple goals over multiple no, games. Instead of just Ibrahimovic last instead season. Instead of just relying on Zlatan and maybe Rashford and Martial sometimes. So because we have a wide variety of people being able to score, that helps the squad. So we're in a really good spot, despite what that other team from Manchester's doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Marcel, thank you for speaking to Soccer as we like it. We'll see you next week for the game against Leicester City. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Come on, you Reds. Pratik, welcome to Sokras yeah, Wulaki. What did you think of the game today? I thought it was a good game today. I thought United could have done better without the stress of the last 10 minutes. So, uh, they could have maybe pushed for a third and fourth goal. But I thought it was a good game. We still won. I'll take the three points. We still keep the gap at 11. So, that's good. Right. Who was your best player? For me, it was Mata. One Mata. Okay. I thought he played really good. I hope he keeps his place and improves more. United have four games in the next 11 days. 
they have Leicester City away, Southampton, Everton and Bournemouth. What do you think of United winning those games? Leicester City away is a tough one, I think. Uh, hope we go for the win and don't park the bus or something. But the all, but the rest of the three. A winnable be, game. Yeah, there should be nine points, at least ten points from twelve. Okay. In here. Pratik, thank you for speaking to Zokas. We like it. We should see you next week when we play Leicester City away and uh, have um, something to talk about more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Soccer We Like It. My name is Tim Russell, the host of this channel. We are just outside the Kings Court pub where we have just finished watching the game between Manchester United and West Bromwich Albion. It was a good game, but a game in which Man United should have scored more goals after starting with so much impetus in the first half. Scoring two goals, a nice goal from Lukaku and a number goal from um, Lingard after deflection. But in saying that, United sat back in the second half, now inviting pressure from West Bromwich Albion, getting considering another goal from another set piece. United have conceded goals lately from set pieces. So United have got to tighten up the defence in reference to set pieces against teams like, you know, West Brom have big defenders, but still United have big defenders as well where they should have been able to get rid and clear that ball out in reference to this game against West Brom and Abram. Um, I think Lukaku played a very good game. He helped in the defence, he helped in the attack. He should have scored another goal but he missed it in trying to be a, a, a star player but every, overall United played very well I think United can use this momentum to keep going we have our next game is going to be away to Leicester City and another game is going to be over the Christmas period we have Leicester City we have Southampton we have Burnley and we have Everton so in that space of 12 days we've got four games these games are winnable games but United just have to make sure they are focused they're ready and they could take all 12 points at stake because at this point the way Manchester City are playing as, I'm, as much as I hate to say it Manchester City don't look like they're gonna drop points anytime soon but they definitely will I know they're gonna drop a few points but United have to be there and be ready to pounce and take the opportunity when City start to have a slump because there's no way that team can go the whole season without dropping points injuries and suspensions they're gonna come in and play a big factor and another thing that this is the winter period in England Football in the winter period is very hard and rugged. The pitches become harder and tougher due to the winter snow and everything. But in saying that, I think United have what it takes to keep going on. We have a, a League Cup match in the midweek, which United should take control of. And I hope United fans are still with United, United all the way. Man United, follow this channel, Soccer As We Like It. Subscribe and like. My name is Tim Russell. Thank you very much for joining me at Soccer As We Like It. We'll see you next week. Thank you very much.